Hello in the second chapter of my course about Slav defense. Today we are going to have a look at some early alternatives uh, for white. Uh, generally speaking, uh, we are not dangerous uh, at all against uh, our repertoire, uh, but it is uh, definitely worth to know how to react on each of that uh, rarely seen, seen system. So let's move on. d4, d5, c4, c6. And this is uh, the starting uh, point for today. The move uh, e3 will be the main line for uh, today, just defending the c4 pawn. This is uh, harmless and in most uh, cases will just transpose to some systems uh, when white is uh, continuing with knight f3 uh, or knight to c3. But before that, uh, let's uh, start with move knight c3. Still, it is uh, everything uh, not unusual or something like that. Knight f6. Here, of course, uh, with move uh, knight f3, this will be the main move, which will be covered in the next uh, chapter. This is, of course, the big uh, starting uh, position of the Slav uh, defense. Uh, but uh, for today's lecture, I will analyze uh, two early jumps of the bishop uh, to g5 and to f4. Let's start with move uh, bishop g5. Uh, this can be tried uh, to the same refers to the move bishop f4 on the fourth uh, move. Uh, but I think that it has uh, simply the same eff effect as uh, move uh, bishop f4. It simply gives nothing to white. We can just uh, grab this uh, pawn on c4. This is uh, really uh, logical right now because, uh, of course, uh, with uh, knight f3, then white will misplay a little bit uh, and uh, he would have uh, some bad version uh, of a main line. Uh, so here I will analyze uh, three different moves uh, of a pawns. Uh, a4 seems the best to me, uh, but let's start with a move uh, e3. Uh, White would like just to take uh, back on c4, and this is uh, what would happen after move, uh, for instance, uh, e6, uh, or something like that. Uh, and then he would not uh, complain at all, because he has uh, developed his uh, bishop to g5. Uh, so we have to do something to change uh, White's plans. And we can just defend the pawn with move b5. In this uh, case, uh, being uh, greedy is a definitely good idea a4, and we should defend the pawn on b5 with queen to b6. Bishop e2, and we can continue expansion on the queen side, not being afraid of our king side, which is a little bit undeveloped. Uh, this, uh, this should just give us good play. Knight f3, knight bd7, castle, e6. White will try to go for a typical play uh, being pawn down. Uh, but black is already very well developed, he has uh, perfect control, especially on uh, queen side. Um, and this is why I think that uh, he can be already slightly better. There is a possibility of playing move uh, e4, this uh, sharp uh, try, this is a really sharp try, but um, as we are going to see, it will backfire because uh, white is uh, definitely not prepared for this. b5. You shouldn't be surprised that we are uh, greedy. e5 and knight d5. White achieves uh, nothing, unfortunately, for him. After a4, h6. Bishop d2, e6. Queen g4. Otherwise, uh, white will have a total zero for the sacrificed uh, pawn. Um, of course, just remember that on a b5, we have to make this intermediate move knight c3. And after bishop c3, cb5, and we are just uh, having a clear pawn more. So queen g4 at least uh, does not allow us uh, to develop the dark squared uh, bishop, but this is uh, not a big threat for us. We can continue with bishop b7. Knight f3. Here we can just take on c3, not allow uh, white to play knight e4 at some point, which can be quite uh, dangerous. Bishop c3, knight a6. Bishop e2, knight b4. Creating a threat of uh, knight c2, so white has to castle. Knight d5. Our perfectly centralized knight on d5 gives us uh, perfect chances. So 
So a4 looks uh, like the best uh, attempt, uh, but definitely white would prefer to have knight on f3 instead of bishop on g5. Uh, so this is still uh, some worse version of the main line. And here I like the most move uh, e5. Uh, very simple idea which uh, equalizes instantly. And if uh, white is not uh, playing uh, the best, then he can even end up, end up being worse. The point is that after d5, we can jump with a queen to a5. On ef6, of course, we can just uh, take this bishop on g5, uh, and we would uh, have much better chances after this. So better is to play queen d2. Right now, ef6 is a threat, but still we do not uh, care, we play just h6. Here, bishop f6 uh, needs to be played, otherwise uh, white's position will be just bad. Gf6, Ef6, Bishop E6. The possible line could go like G3. It is a better idea to play this way instead of E3 because then uh, our knight after knight D7 and knight C5 will have uh, another square on D3. Knight D7 and Black uh, simply obtains good play. This uh, line looks uh, like the most ambitious uh, for Black. Uh, I mean. Uh, this move uh, e5. There are some other options which are good uh, too, for instance queen a5, queen b6 uh, too, but I like uh, e5 uh, for his simplicity. Alright, so let's uh, return and let's uh, have a look at the move uh, bishop f4. As I said, this is a strange move, but in this uh, chapter we will deal with such ideas. DC4 is obvious and uh, strong and uh, white will right now face uh, some issues with regaining material, the same as in the previous line. A4 is the only good uh, move, um, otherwise uh, when we will just uh, play B5 and uh, white will not regain this pawn for sure. Knight D5, attacking bishop on F4 and also the knight on C3. And uh, already we have uh, a good uh, chance to size the initiative, because if white uh, would play with bishop d2, which is uh, some serious inaccuracy, then e5. Black will have tre tremendous activity in this line. Let's have a look. d5, knight b4. Knight f3, knight from 8 to a6. g3, bishop f5. We have a threat of uh, winning uh, the queen after knight c2, so white has to prevent it with rook c1. Knight c5 and uh, black is already much better. Probably he will win just an exchange after move knight b3, because I see no uh, good defense against that threat. So bishop g3 looks uh, like a better uh, attempt, at least uh, e5 is right now uh, not possible. Uh, but we shouldn't be surprised that here move b5 uh, is a, just a good idea. Then e4, knight c3, bc3, e6. As we can see right now there is uh, no, not much uh, philosophy. We are just uh, continuing uh, normal developing moves and uh, we have to just remember that we are still a pawn up. Knight f3, a6, just to defend the b5 pawn uh, even more. Bishop e2, bishop d6, takes, takes. Black is at least uh, equal. Uh, maybe he could be a little bit uh, better if not only this uh, but bishop on c8 because he is very uh, restricted. So uh, I think that uh, white is uh, close to equality. But uh, I think that this is uh, not uh, something that he would like to have after the opening. Alright, so if not uh, bishop f4 on the fourth move, uh, let's have a look at the move bishop f4 on the third move. Again, such an early jump uh, from bishop invites us just to take on c4, and this is what we have to do. Again, if uh, white would like to be active, uh, I think that he is not well prepared for such move. Then b5, defending the pawn, is again a very good idea. After knight c3, knight f6, uh, again we have uh, such a good uh, position uh, from this uh, line, uh, and simply white lacks any good ideas. After knight f3, e6, bishop e2, 
bishop b4, threatening to take uh, the second pawn, and uh, white will not have uh, any compensation for this, so he has to defend with queen c2. Bishop b7. Black is a pawn up uh, for very little, definitely he's uh, just better in this position. So e4 is uh, completely without any logic, a little bit better idea here is just to play uh, more modest with a move e3. b5, typical move in this uh, position when white allows us just to take on c4. a4, knight f6. Knight c3, queen b6. Again, we have to just defend this pawn. After knight f3, e6, bishop e2, bishop b4, pinning the knight. Castle, knight bd7. White will fight uh, for equality, um, which is again uh, something uh, perfect for us, because this uh, we are playing with uh, black pieces and we should try to equalize. And in this case, it is white who has to fight for equality. So let's move on to the move uh, e3. This uh, might be the best uh, choice uh, from all of that uh, all of that variations that we already saw. Knight f6, uh, and here of course knight f3 and uh, knight c3 will be the topic of uh, next uh, chapters. Uh, they are perfectly fine uh, moves, um, and uh, there's nothing wrong I can say about I can say about them. Uh, but in this uh, for today, uh, we are going to have a look at the move bishop d3. It has uh, little independent uh, value if uh, we play the semi-slav defense, then we can continue with move e6. And after knight f3, knight bd7, knight c3, we would have uh, the Meron uh, defense, the Meron variation, uh, which is of course uh, also good uh, and perfectly playable, there is a lot of fury about uh, that. But this is not the topic uh, for today here, I would like to show you the move e5. This is a really good move uh, based on uh, some easy tactical trick, which we are going to see. Knight c3 uh, looks uh, the be like the best uh, chance uh, for white. Uh, let's have a look what could happen after the move cd5. When we have enough time to, to play the move e4. There is no intermediate move like dc6 because we can just take on d3. No checks or anything like that, so white just has to retreat with a bishop to c2, the best square for the bishop. Then cd5, knight c3, and right now normal, normal play uh, will arise. After f3 there is also such an interesting idea like castle kingside. White have to take, uh, has to take on e4, and knight e4. Uh, and here it is uh, the point in which uh, white can already blunder and to lose uh, the game if, he, if he's uh, not uh, too experienced, then he can just fall into this trap. I will give you 5 seconds, maybe even 3 seconds, because it's really easy to find the move for black. Of course, queen h4. Check on the king and also attacking the bishop on e4. After g3, queen e4. I think that this is really easy to find uh, and that you figured out uh, this, uh, this tactical shot. Uh, bishop e4 actually can be tried because right now on uh, queen h4, uh, white knight can just go back to f2, so white is not uh, losing any material. Uh, but also here black uh, has decent play. I like the move bishop to b4 check. After bishop d2, rook e8. Uh, white uh, should be careful not to go back to g3 or to f2 with a knight because uh, then pawn on e3 will be hanging, or even pawn on d4 uh, also would be hanging. So he should just take on b4. Then rook e4, queen d3, queen e8, king f2, bishop f5. White's pawn structure is uh, very vulnerable, especially that pawns on e3 and uh, d4. Uh, also, white has uh, some temporarily uh, problems with the king. Um, there's also a threat of playing rook f4, winning the queen on d3. So white will uh, have to work uh, hard not to become much worse. Definitely white black has perfect play for the pawn. So probably the best uh, would be just to play move knight to f3. 
Then after knight c3, bc3, knight c6, we will have a very nice uh, play on light squares. Just to have in mind uh, such a maneuver like knight a5, knight c4, bishop e6, uh, rook c8, and to, to create some play against the c3 pawn. This is uh, very simple and uh, very logical. So let's uh, return to this uh, point and let's uh, have a look uh, what uh, happens after move d5 because uh, maybe this is uh, something that uh, you are wondering what can what right now black has to do. Actually, we move dc4. This is the point of this uh, of this whole variation. Especially that uh, move ef6 uh, would be just a very bad uh, move because after cd3, fg7, bishop g7, knight f3. We can just castle our king is on king side perfectly safe. Castle c5. Knight c3, knight c6. Uh, this is really bad uh, for white. I would um, never go for such a position. Material is even, so white completely has nothing for uh, for this irritating pawn on d3, and maybe he will be even defended with the pawn from c5 to c4. This is just bad for white. Nothing more to add. Uh, bishop c4 is uh, a lesser evil, but uh, still it is not the best move in this position. After queen d1, king d1, knight g4, black will regain uh, material with interest. And this is uh, again some typical idea for this uh, variation. After knight a3, knight e5, bishop e2. It is uh, even interesting uh, to play with move uh, knight a6, allowing uh, white to take on a6 to destroy our pawn structure. Then b a6, knight c3, bishop b4, king c2, castle king side, with a better endgame due to bishop pair for black. Again, this is uh, something that white would not like uh, to have after the opening. Uh, the only move not to become worse is just to play the move bishop to e2. And here I, uh, there are a lot of uh, good ideas uh, for black. He can go for move knight g4, knight d5, uh, but I like the most move knight from f to d7. Knight f3, knight c5, with a threat of knight d3. Bishop e2, b5, castle, knight bd7. Black's prospects, uh, I think, uh, that are really good. So let's uh, have a look at the move uh, knight c3. This uh, might be the best uh, for white in this position. e4. I really like uh, such ideas just to grab uh, some space. Bishop c2 and bishop d6. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, black has more space, which is uh, very rarely seen in uh, Slav defense. This is really not typical for this uh, opening. Um, and I think that he has also very easy and uh, logical play. F3, going uh, for French like uh, structure with reversed colors. If uh, knight g2, then uh, this is uh, playable too, actually. Then you can just castle, and there's another trap uh, for white uh, in which he can fall if he would uh, castle here. Um, I will give uh, again uh, 5 seconds uh, to find the, the winning motive. I think that you figured out it uh, and uh, you saw such ideas like bishop h2. Here it is uh, working very well. King h2, knight g4, king g3. Just a quick mention king h1, then queen h4, king g1, queen h2, mate. If queen h3, then knight e3, double check and uh, white is losing the queen. King g1 is uh, bad uh, too because queen h4 and uh, this attack will be decisive. The only chance is to play the move uh, towards the center with king g3. Then h5 is the best move here. Rook h1, queen g5. And here f4, queen g6, f5. And going back with a queen. Right now I do not uh, see any good defense against uh, some uh, discovered check from black. And I think that uh, this attack should be decisive.
maybe if not uh, we are going to mate the opponent then for sure he will lose uh, some uh, much material So white uh, definitely should start with move a3 here. Then knight a6, cd5, cd5, castle, knight c7, f3. Uh, more sooner or later white will have to play this move uh, anyway, so uh, it is better to do it uh, earlier. ef3, rook f3, rook e8, and um, there is uh, some kind of equality. Uh, this uh, looks like a lot of like uh, French uh, structure from uh, Tarash variation. Of course, this is not the topic of, of today's lecture, but uh, I just wanted to mention this. Uh, so let's uh, have a look at the move F3 immediately. Again, we have, uh, as I said, uh, some kind of uh, French structure. Castle, F4, D4. Knight g2. Uh, of course, again, uh, knight e4 is just losing the piece because uh, this uh, tactical motif we already saw. Knight e4, bishop e4, queen h4 check, and takes on e4 on the next move. But actually, again, taking with a bishop is uh, possible, but this doesn't uh, guarantee any good uh, prospects. Rook e8, bishop f3, and knight g4. This is a very good tactical trick. After bishop g4, queen h4, check. g3, queen g4. Takes, takes. Knight g2, knight d7. Flux uh, bishops uh, fully compensates the missing pawn. This endgame is just okay for black. And on knight uh, g2, we continue with rook e8. Castle knight a6. h3, knight b4. Bishop b1, and here uh, I found uh, some really interesting uh, idea, pretty surprising. We move b5. We have to be prepared then on the move a3. We should just uh, sacrifice uh, uh, the pawn with knight d3. Again, after bishop d3, e d3, queen d3, we'll have perfect compensation due to our uh, fantastic bishop pair. Uh, so definitely black has uh, full compensation for the sacrificed material. The game will be really interesting uh, and uh, opening up the position with bishop pair is uh, something very logical. Alright, so this was uh, the chapter with uh, some uh, early alternatives. They are totally harmless as we already saw. Um, and I like all of that lines that I showed you in this uh, chapter. So, for today, thank you for watching. Goodbye.